I need closure with this with this game once and for all. I think we all do. I'm still riling about that dumb ass line from before. It's just uh, it's the worst. Ah uh, yes, you know I I I don't really like it. That sort of mentality, even, but uh, I try the, to avoid it. It's the most offensive backwards mentality you can possibly uh, put anywhere. It's just, it's, 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 it's like, it's, 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 it's like we, we, we have to say, it's like people feel like a need to say it just because they don't want people to feel like they're doing something wrong, even though they're not. Maybe they are, but by doing this, they only emphasize it even more. And they also come across as complete hypocrites. Yeah, the reason I, I mean, talk I, okay, about. Never. Okay, let's let us not mention that ever again. Yes. Uh, okay. Let, let's. Okay. Where were we now? Uh, 2016, the fourth of the thirtieth. 2016. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We're in the future now. 2016. We are. We are in the future one year from now, when uh, aliens will uh, arrive to Earth riding dinosaurs and we will be able to, to teleport to other planets with Stargate devices. The future of 2016. I thought this, I thought this was the, uh, the future, into, where the, fu the post-apocalyptic future in one year's time where every hero has to take care of a... Of a Little girl that they that is not the actual daughter, but they have to treat him like a daughter. And no, that's oh, uh, you're thinking of, of the Last of Us. <laughs> I I have this feeling you're thinking about the Last of Us. Actually, I wasn't even trying to reference that game because I don't even own that game. I I've only just heard about it. But apparently, everybody went bonkers for this game. <laughs> Str strange. I don't really get with the hype of games. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's an highly emotional, involving experience. Yeah. But still, it's a post-apocalypse and there are zombie-like creatures. So for me, it's a big red flag. <laughs> well, I mean, if you were to... I mean, um, I like playing Fallout and all that, but Fallout has variety in its post-apocalyptic scenarios. I mean, uh, there are so creatures. many types of, There are so many types of monsters to deal with. And at the end of the day, the biggest monster of all is still mankind. <laughs> that's some. Um, uh, okay, yeah. so let's get started, okay? And Sauri has been kindly listening to our to our chit chatter. This isn't going to be cut down anyway. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Princess Maker 2 where where me and Madhog try to be the best fathers of the year while raging so yeah we're back here taking care of our little girl what do you have to say about this Madhog no don't go on a strike again <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I want to know! <laughs> oh yeah, you're laughing now! I bet, I bet you're laughing now, just because, you, just because you just can watch me go like, Oh, I know, I'll just go on strike and watch Devar squirm on his own! <laughs> Is, is this what you're doing? Is that why you're doing this? <laughs> Are you uh, trying to drive me insane? Not really. Mm. Mm. I was angry. Oh, <laughs> it's just a big coincidence. It has nothing to do with the fact that this game pissed me off so much that I decided to completely give it no respect whatsoever. 
Oh but yes, he can eat it. with this squirt, so nothing to do with this. I'm just eating because I'm uh, feeling the uh, peckish. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's depressed, folks, after raging last time. Yes, it's a. Uh, it was a particular point in my life, of which I'm not particularly proud of, but. Uh, the things I said, they all needed to be said in the most emphatic and outspoken way possible. So I just said them, and and uh, I was done with this game. <laughs> all kinds of done, in fact. But now I'm back, and I'm going to resume my completely professional demeanor when uh, um, tackling this game. Ow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Want some dumb eating, that is. Mm. Be right oh. back, folks. I'm gonna choke someone. <laughs> mm. Oh, please do um, continue. There are things that need to be done. Mm, well, at this point, you can do it without them, without me. I'm just going to <laughs> sit back here, relax, and eat these freaking things that I don't even know what they are. All but right, then. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get back to uh, no, no, relearning no. everything because it's been like what two months since I last played this game. No, probably. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Oh, look, I can scald my daughter if I want. No, no, no. Uh, okay, mm. what other topics do you have on mind? <laughs> our, cu our butler Cube is a hard worker, isn't he? Mm. Really? I, I don't know. I never see him do any work. That's fact. what I was about to say. I didn't see him do any work. What was, the flame? What was he here for other than he, telling us what to do? He's a freaking freeloader. Is that what Are we actually maintaining a freeloader? Let's fire the battler and... And we can get and the Extra money we spend money. on this paycheck. We can use it to uh, to buy that uh, that bowling ball we always wanted. <laughs> and also maybe doing something for a daughter too. But who cares? It's just a daughter. <laughs> no, they come and go. They can be easily uh, remake with a different whore every night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to say. Uh, it like me that. By the way, medieval times, family friendly. Well, at least this is not the family-friendly pony podcast. No, that is the most family-friendly po um, podcast about ponies that was ever recorded, which is saying something. Which is actually sadly probably true. <laughs> Come to think of it. Okay, so... Uh, I'm trying to f figure out where what we're supposed to, what we're okay. supposed to do this month. I actually remember what needs to be done. I'll say we have a goal right now. What's the goal again? Because I forgot. <laughs> To defeat the war god! Oh yeah, her. And him. Yeah, him. It's a, it's a him. I have, or I it. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, so, we need to improve her uh, magical defense skills and okay. her charisma. Okay. But we also need her to uh, have her doing some loop-de-loops in around the forest and whatnot. Yes, of course. Uh, okay, uh, we, and, need, uh, we basically. Basically, we decided that after the next time she wins a tournament, she's going to be try and take on the the war god. That's okay. the that's where we left off. Before I completely uh, went blind with rage due to some a certain line that was put in the wrong place at the wrong time, as we were experimenting with the possible endings of this game. And if you want to know more about that, just go watch that damn video that I hate. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, and, and funny enough, Ross was with us at the time. Um, I use a huge factor to my rage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Mm, these things are delicious. You think, mm. we should, you think we should work this month in the farm on the lumberjack? Um, no, no, no. No, no. None of that? School. Okay, no. so let's mm. see. We need to I'm be... Actually, you know what? Let's start with adventure. Alright, let's start with adventuring in the forest. Yes, you know the drill. Well, I need to remember the drill. <laughs> I'm going to drill it inside your school. Okay, so we're starting off with adventuring. Mm. School. And schooling. School. You so, want dance, magic dance, remember? Ma yeah, we, we need magic dancing shoes. 
and then free time at the end so she doesn't become a delinquent. Yes, we do not want that. So it shall be done. Mm-hmm. And we head into the forest. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let us see if I can remember which direction to go. I'm going to take this thing that I don't know the name of, and I'm gonna eat it. Ah. By the way. Hmm. Oh, someone's coming. What? Because we're, we're certainly totally evil right now. Yeah, that's pretty much the point. And By the way, speaking of speaking of Death Note references, yeah, there is a new Death Note show, uh, which is actually live action. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you're talking to someone who doesn't care about that. Yes, you. So okay, let me guess. The reason why you were uh, immediately. Uh, alienated by the show when you actually try to watch it after the, only the first episode was because of the main character, wasn't it? Uh, no, actually, I just found it really boring. Well, also that, and also it's extremely, extremely talkative. As in, the mental monologuing never ends. <laughs> but basically, the biggest problem of the original show is that it's the main character. It, it is always a problem when you have the obvious Unquestionable super villain, world conquer wannabe Adolf Hitler waiting to happen, evil incarnate essentially as your main character because it's hard to get invested in the guy. Oh sure, he tells you that he wants to do, that he's doing what he does because he truly believes it's the best for humanity and all of that. Oh look, like a wildcat. Yes, that's new. Hey, hey, Carol from Freedom Planet, how are you? Yes. <laughs> Rep, uh, plug in. Yes, plug in. Anyway, as I, as I was saying, the problem is with that is that uh, he tells you that his actions are righteous, but uh, we have absolutely no reason to believe him because by the time Ryuk meets with him in the first episode, he already killed like 20 people without any single, any, any sort of remorse any sort of human uh, preoccupation. He was already a complete monster from the very beginning, a completely detached from humanity and a com a com with a superiority complex. The Death Note just enabled him. And that's a terrible choice for a main character because you cannot get invested in this guy. Because he's so obviously cartoonishly evil. And that's the problem with the original Death Note. There is no complexity whatsoever in his motivation or, his, in, or, in, or in his characterization because his demeanor, his behavior is that of a super villain from start to finish. Uh, Madhog? What? Oh no, the mistress has been arrested. It seems she is charged with committing highway robbery while out adventuring. Well, what do you know? There were real life consequences to that. It only cost you a little bit of morality. You don't need that. Ross was wrong! Wow! <laughs> we have received a compliment that sounded so serious coming to the first in the soul! Well, better, well, better kill the guard on, with the death note. <laughs> we are currently investigating the matter. Master, we have to go talk to the police. And Chumstain heads towards the jail. Dad, I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Chumstain, we're about to try and punish your daughter. <laughs> Try! However, His Majesty the King, in, de in deference to your meritorious service, has commanded me to overlook the matter. Well, you best take your daughter home now. Oh! Everything yep. took a dive. Well, uh, let's, let's load learn. up. Yeah. So as I was saying, that's the main problem with Death Note. The main character, completely cartoonishly evil super villain, that uh, you cannot get invested in because there is nothing complex or ambiguous about his motivation. He is just that obviously a super villain. So, how do you fix Death Note? You start off by fixing Death Note with fixing the main character. And there is something the live action show of Death Note, recently uh, released live action show, yeah. That actually does already unquestionably better than oh. the anime. What would that be then? Light Yagami starts off as just a guy. Alright. 
It's just a guy with no ambitions, a simple guy, an underachiever, nothing special. He is human, that's what I'm saying. He is, a, he is an actual believable human being. And then he slowly gets corrupted by the Death Note and he's actually far more believable because since he started off as an actual human being and not just a monster waiting to happen like Yagami was, you can believe he has an actual moral and ethical conflict going on with his conscience. And you can get invested in the guy because he has, he's a human being with human flaws that's slowly getting corrupted by a power that's far above his reach. And you could not get invested again in the original Light Yagami because there was nothing even remotely human. Even remotely human and relatable about him. So that's how you make Death Note better by default. Oh, uh, uh, who is this guy? Well, this face is new, and I also extremely offensive. I see you've made a name for yourself in the martial arts. I, Damu Damu, challenge you to a duel. Damu Damu. Uh, it yeah. Seems like, it seems like a bad Dragon Ball character crossed with an every possible offensive Asian stereotype. Yeah. And Native, and Native American, too. As so as sorry, sorry, home of all the challenges to fight. Uh, we know this. Except challenge, we're gonna defeat you. Well, so I hope I, I hope I hope I made my point clear about Death Note. This is why it's bad. You <coughs> you make the main character start off as a human being, as just a guy, and then he slowly becomes the Light Yagami and the Kira from the show. It's a slow process that becomes uh, uh, relevant. It becomes uh, effective because there is an actual slow moral decay. Oh, 19 damage from magic from him. <laughs> That's why we need magic defense. And... So yes, if you had to watch one version of Death Note, be sure it's the live-action show from 2015. Damu Damu yields. You win, you win, I go home now. Oh, oh, look this, at those eyes. Th th look at that, look at that way the dialogue's been written. It's, that's that's just I hope I hope I never see this guy again. I also never I hope I never see his crotch up close like that. Just yeah. Jeez, look how look how he landed. I that's know, just, it's like, it's like a that, prat fall. That's just very undignified for his people. And our reputation went by ten points for that reason. Whatever people those are supposed to be, that is. And let's dance. Mm-hmm. Gotta get the fruit loose. Do do. <laughs> okay then. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no pocket money. You best not get arrested, young lady. That would suck. Oh good, we've not been arrested. Save the game. Yes, I, I was. Yes, I will ape the game, as you put it. Okay, I actually love the fact that Ross was so wrong about. Never having consequences for your actions when you were in the fields. We yes. were arrested. We were arrested specifically because we robbed the guard. That's that's why yeah. I that's why I was against it. Well, we're never doing that again. That's for sure. Yeah. We've okay. Got... Actually, okay. Now let's do school. Now let's do uh, some magic defense. No. Oh, magic, magic defense. De uh, school. Which is, uh, I believe, uh, it was theology, theology right? I think it was theology. Ah, we saved the game anyway. And then time off. Hmm. Hmm, this... this... snacks are really weird. What do you mean? What's so weird about your snacks? They have the shape of pretzels, as yeah. in the infinity symbol. Yeah. Kind of shape. But they are much smaller and they're not sweets, they are salty. So they're like crackers, but far more substantial in, uh, in their... in their wheat... So, I don't know what they're called, but they're just delicious. <laughs> mm, so, sounds, like, sounds, like a very, sounds like a nice savory you're eating there. Oh yeah, no, 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 Whenever I'm in, whenever I'm in Poland, I, I, I always enjoy a nice bag of paluski, as they're called. They're like just... Paluski. 
what are you about to say? Paluski, you say? Yeah, uh, they're like, uh, they're basically just savory sticks that uh, that you just eat. Uh, there's, they're quite nice. Mmm, yeah. the var, the var. Yeah. Tell me more about your stick. Please do not be that guy in the in <laughs> animes that say, "Would you like to lick my yaoi stick?" Nobody says that in anime. He did one did. I don't believe you. I uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I I will show you the anime if I could mem if I remember the name of it. It was to do with chocolate. Uh, uh, let's put it that way. Sounds like it might ruin chocolate for me forever. <laughs> uh, By the way, this is our best play forever. I'm spending the entire time eating snacks. Just like last time I did that. Isn't okay. that riveting? Okay, magic defense is going off. Well. I am the nun of God. <gasps> oh my gosh, she she like grew um, and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Present by. Mm, uh, what does she need? Uh. Does it nah, nah. Mm, nothing. <laughs> okay. Take the doll. <laughs> have, doll. Have another doll. So we can sell the old one. <laughs> exactly. Uh, da, da, da. No, wait, that's the wrong theme. Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Isn't that great? You get to go to class on your birthday. And no pocket money. Yep, we are the best parents ever. We established that so many times. Why oh. haven't we- What the- What the hell? Yes, who is it? Uh, hello, uh, is Miss Sally at home? What is- What type of reject is this? <laughs> uh, what's going on here? I don't know. Are you a friend of the mistress? Uh, no, uh, this is- I can't- Wait a minute, are you- Wait a minute, are you the dragon kid? I can't very well announce you unless I know who you are. You're right, Sir Butler. I am a friend of your- I am a friend of your mistress. Oh, no! If you tell her that the old dragon from the ruins is here- Oh, no! She will know who you mean! Oh, no! It's that- Oh, no! Oh, we activated this flag! Oh, thanks, just as Ross predicted! Thanks, Ross! <laughs> Yes, thanks, Ross. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> I mean, dragons are cool and all, but <laughs> this is basically a dragon kid. It's like it's like marrying Spike the dragon. There's nothing cool about that. That's doubly worse. <laughs> yeah. What? The dragon from the ruins? So you're the dragon grandpa? Oh, so she told us about this. So we know about this. <laughs> Okay, um, so, how to turn him down gently? Uh, punch <laughs> him in the face? Works for me. <laughs> I'll le leave that to you. I don't do violence. <laughs> okay, uh, proceed. Uh, I said you do it. <laughs> okay, so No, I mean, go on. Oh, ho, ho, so you've heard of me. I've also known Sauri- uh, You're Santa Claus, too? <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Ruining my childhood, are you? Oh yeah, Santa's always a dragon, you know. And a perverted old man. <laughs> I've also known Saori's father for quite some time. He's been on my naughty list for a long while. Yes, yes, i am be waiting to visit the guy. <laughs> ah, I have to punch myself in the face for doing a Family Guy reference. Cube. Cube, who is it? Uh, uh, m m m m oh, I wonder who he is. Yes, because you know, never saw him in this form. I didn't even know they took they could take human form. M m miss, please marry me. What? But, yeah, that's that's <laughs> the kind of face I would have to. <laughs> that's that's the perfect face. <laughs> They're pretty much spot on. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 this, oh, this, oh, this, some play uh, like a <laughs> Spanish soap opera. This requires snacks. <laughs> She went cross-eyed at us! <laughs> <laughs> it's like her brain can't fathom this! I think her brain just emitted uh, hot hair, <laughs> as in farted. But what's up with this guy? Good question. Ho ho ho, miss, it's me, the old dragon from the ruins! Ah! Lock the door! 
<laughs> this young fellow says that he wishes to make you his bride. I have come as a matchmaker to help him. Ah! Lock the door! <laughs> what? Again! The ruins? Perhaps... Ah, that's it! You're that dirty old dragon! <laughs> dirty old dragon? Grandpa, what do you do to her? Oh, 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 nothing really, don't worry. Isn't that right, miss? Isn't that right, miss? I'll burn your ass down! Well, I guess... Uh, the, I, well, about this boy... We also met before. I'm sorry I was rude to you. I was the dragon who was guarding the ruins. Douchebag. So, we bitch slapped you. What? You're that impudent young dragon? <laughs> and face again! <laughs> Today, sure is full of surprises. <laughs> Brain can't handle <laughs> two surprises in one day. Oh, this, we're getting to the good, the good part. Mm -hmm. This is like being on the Jerry Springer show. This is like watching a telenovela. <laughs> Daughter, the truth is, I am not your father. I am your mother! <laughs> no! Uh, just imagining a twist why I would be like that. Though, so. Please excuse yeah. me how I behave towards you. I realize I was wrong, but ever since that time, I haven't been able to forget you. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> he received the beating of his lifetime. <laughs> I guess he's that sort of person. Please, marry me! Um, no. But aren't you a dragon? I'm a human, so we can't be married. Who said that? The church? I'll burn the church to the ground! <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Mm. Oh, I run out of snacks. That's yes. too bad. Y yes, 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 uh, sweetie. Please continue eating while I handle the situation. No, oh, I can't. I've run out of snacks. Mm. Uh, here, here's ten, here's ten uh, whatever we use in whatever country we live in and, and, and go get yourself some snacks. No, if you love, then species doesn't matter. Please marry me. I'll be good to you! Um, no? Uh... <laughs> Dead? Call the guards? Oh no, Master, a dragon from the ruins has proposed to the mistress. It's not like you were here all along. <laughs> Apparently, it was... Thank you, Cube, you're as useful as always. Chumpstain won't give you this... Well, Chumpstain won't... You give this young fellow your daughter's hand in marriage, I'd give you 10,000 gold as a gift? D deal <laughs> Sold! Instantly sold! No, wait. Actually, can we think about this for a minute? <laughs> because the offering is tempting, but we don't really have any need for money as it, as it is now. And I'm not sure I want to see the dragon ending, because, uh, let's face it, it's... <sighs> We're going to go battle with the War God. What kind of a ending <laughs> is well, this? I know, right? Oh gosh, well, it, it's not like it's on my daughter's hand, unless we're gonna get killed for this, but I doubt it. Hmm. Hmm. We saved the game, right? Yes, we did. For this. So, maybe we can come back to this? Uh, okay. So, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's refuse. refuse. Let's refuse. Oh, he's, I love that expression. His heart is crushed. Yes. Broken off. Yes. Sadness. <laughs> let, let. I shall... I shall feast upon your tears of sadness. <laughs> Let me feast on the broken shell of your heart. <laughs> that leave the roses. Just as I thought it's not going to work, he is not so easily swayed by money. Well, let's just give up and go back to the ruins. Yes, yes, somebody has to scratch my back. Miss, what are your feelings? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see. Well, I'm a man. I'll just forget about it. And all yes, these cry. That's what men do, apparently. They forget about things. And they cry. I'll forget you. That's, that's why I cry, you know? To forget about things. Okay, that's well, probably a bit too much. Well, somebody's going to spend the rest of their natural lives in a bar. I pray that the rest of your life will be bright and happy. Thank you. I shall have my revenge. I will burn your house down. Well said. Farewell, Chumstain. Miss, come by the ruins and see me again sometime. Nope! Nope! Oh, my nope! 
We're done with you. The two dragons leave. Refinement went up by six by five points. I guess that's that's completely pointless for us. Since the mistress is now 16 years old, you can choose to have her work at the new job cabaret. Oh, the cabaret! It's not the kind of cabaret you're thinking of. What, so you mean they're not going to be acting, singing, dancing? Well, there is going to be something involving uh, those really typical uh, cabaret girl suits. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. Believe me when I say the last time that happened in the cabaret I was in, I had to show the girls how to do it. Huh. Or maybe I'm mistaken about it, <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Uh, we should let's, see about let's, it. Let's, let's just adventure off into the wild and never see dragons again. Deal. <laughs> okay, I'm curious about the cabaret actually, but then mm. again, then again that's a job. Okay, uh, let's, uh, again, uh, theology. Yes, let's go with theology. And time off. Mm -hmm. We need that free time, desperately. Mm -hmm. And we head into the woods. Okay, if you head into the woods today, you're bound to get a big surprise. <laughs> I think you did this joke about three times already. Did I? Pretty much, yes. I, I had no idea. Nope, just talk to the guard. Yes, well, thanks a lot, Ross, by the way. <laughs> yes, Ross. Well, yeah, fighting guards in the forest feels as no consequences outside of the fields. <laughs> we, yeah. This is this is my this is my impression of Ross. <laughs> yeah, boobies, boobies, breast, dragon, pink, dragon pink. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you can have the heart to make fun of the guy. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, but let's face it. When you like the things he likes, you're setting yourself up for mockery and whatnot. <laughs> the same could be said for us, but you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm already an embarrassment to humankind anyway. <laughs> um, you have a girlfriend, so you're already much, much better than most human, <laughs> most of the people on the internet, so, <laughs> so you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, I only say that just because, uh... oh, I found some gold randomly. Just, just randomly on, 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 the, on the asphalt, I found some gold. Found Somebody 20... must have dropped like 10 solid gold coins. Well, we found... <laughs> You know, 23 gold pieces. Even better. Okay, study your theology, woman. Hiya! 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 <laughs> yes, we talked about this. The nun is. Yeah, it never gets old. It's just uh, she kicks us for the Lord. I just love that. <laughs> I know. Isn't it awesome? Okay, will you get your pocket money? No, we need that for your schooling. Okay, so right. we're done. Right, this, we're done this month. So uh, let me just save again. Okay, let's see what happens with the cabaret. That's because right, I want to see that myself. Okay, let's not do any exploring uh, this okay, month. Just, uh, just work and school. Let's see. Let's see. Do working. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just realized something. Okay. Yeah. Theology. And uh, go work at the. Cabaret. Ooh, 35. How much are you going to lose us for doing this? Yeah, and and we're about to off. find out. I don't care. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. We're I'm Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Yeah, a little mini Shia LaBeouf in the bottom corner. Just do it! <laughs> uh, okay, let's see how well this goes with the cabarets and see if it's something I would be wanting my daughter to be in. I hope they do Hamlet. <laughs> 
Cabaret. Fat chance. <laughs> Baron Telmark. Oh dear lord. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, it is that kind of cabaret. <coughs> oh yes, your duties. Will... <laughs> your duties will okay. be to serve drinks to the guests, so that you'll become more experienced to sing and dance for them. Why you keep all these guys all the same voice? <laughs> because they're all suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Me anyway. and you but treat it lightly, you be maybe an amateur, but I want you to work with the pride of a professional. <laughs> okay. Smashing. They're doing a jog more like. Magnificent, a masterful performance. I present you with a 50% bonus as a reward. 472 days for nine days. That was extremely successful. Yeah, actually. Uh, uh, the dark charisma went up, by the way. I did. I, did, I was too busy looking at what other things went up. Oh, okay. Let's see. What were you? Oh, I kn I know what things went up in that bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my eye! <laughs> I I face palmed myself so hard I hit my eyeball. Dude. Dude, let me use let me be serious by using the dude word, which I rarely ever do. So you know how much serious I am right now. Dude, bro dude. Yeah. I don't care. Thank you. It's, now this game this game deserves nothing but my absolute utmost uncaring. <laughs> it proves that. So I'm dropping all facade of smart assness and intelligence. I'm just going to be crass about it because this game deserves to be treated like a piece of garbage okay let's just go and that's that's my justification for the horrible uh, erection joke yeah I'll, I'll let you go with that <laughs> okay let's get, get let's get you going have a nice day at work sweetie <laughs> I'm running around the forest for the Okay. Running around at the speed of walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Yes, the mantis. It's a pity we don't see the cat girls very much in this. Mm. Just because it's very rare to see them apparently in this forest. Oh, when I played this part of the game, I always ran into cat girls for some reason. Wow, we have opposite looks on that regard. <laughs> ah, come on, down you get. Not that sort of down you get, please, folks. Get down with the sickness. Get down with the sickness! <laughs> yes, I, I love Disturb. By the way, Disturb will be having a new album coming out soon, after their long hiatus. You better, you better give up, come on, get down with the sickness! And then they proceed to insult their mothers for about five minutes <laughs> in the most loud and vicious way possible. <laughs> okay, I think I think somebody must have gone seriously bonkers doing this song. They must have a drug overdose, too much <laughs> caffeine, or just they exploded in a floor in a floor of rage and <laughs> just <laughs> that was possibly one of the greatest moments in in song's history. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, that was so... That was so ridiculously over the top. Okay, Oh, so. oh man. Oh, fond memories of... Uh, Mother-hating songs. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no pocket money for you. We got like 1,000 gold left. Master, this year's salary has arrived. 500 G's. Oh, you know what that means. Uh... Celebration? Tournament time. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work HARD AT IT! NOTHING IS IMPOSSIBLE! You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there! No! What are you waiting for? DO IT!
Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!